Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. Charaspis was a group of extinct jawless fish-like vertebrates found as fossils in early Devonian rocks dating to 398 to 416 million years ago in Europe. In other words, and this is the scientific description, it was a terraspidid heterostraconid Nathan vertebrate that lived in the Pragian epoch of the Devonian period in what is now Britain and Belgium. Like other heterostracan fishes, Teraspis had a protective armored plating covering the front of its body. The remainder of its body was encased in small scales. Teraspis is typical of the Teraspid family of heterostracans, which proliferated and diversified during the late Silurian and early Devonian periods. It was characterized by having a large head shield, smaller scales covering the posterior half of the animal, a hypocircle tail, and dorsal and lateral spines. Although Teraspis lacked paired fins, the feature that usually f allows for greater stability in the water, it was a powerful swimmer to judge by several hydrodynamic features of its body. Stability was provided by bony outgrowths from the back of the head shield. A large spine acted as a kind of dorsal fin, providing some protection from predators, while a pair of rigid wings or keels function as pectoral hydrofoils. It also had stiff spikes on its back, possibly an additional form of protection against predators. Teraspis had an extensive, flexible tail that was also a hydrodynamic shape, with the lower lobe elongated in order to provide lift at the front of the body while swimming. Additional lift in the water was provided by the elongated snout, which was drawn out into a blade-like rostrum, below which the mouth opened. The hard rostrum that projects forward would have provided additional streamlining, yet it is uncertain if this was the only purpose for its presence. These adaptations suggest that it was a jawless fish that possibly swam upwards into open water as opposed to cruising around the bottom. In other words, paleontologists asserted that Teraspis and its relatives probably fed near the surface of the sea or in mid-water among the shoals of planktonic shrimp-like crustaceans. It is probable that it was an active yet inefficient swimmer. Teraspis means wing shield, and it gets its name from the growths on the sides of its main body shield. These growths function as hydrofoils, which is a job typically done by pectoral fins, yet Teraspis specimens don't have pectoral fins, they are absent. It was named by Agassiz in 1835. Species include Teraspis rostratus, which is the type Teraspis crouchy, Teraspis stensioi, and possibly others. Sister taxa include Paraceraspis, Lorecopteraspis, Sphagodus, among others. It was a carnivore, possibly feasting on shrimp, small open water vertebrates, or plankton, just under the ocean surface, and is typically found in association with marine fossils. It was 6.5 to 8 inches, or 16 to 20 centimeters long. It lived in Belgium and Britain, United Kingdom, and Europe. It lived in marine environments including offshore, coastal, and fluvial environments. It lived during the Low Jacobian to Emsian of the Early Devonian, roughly 398 to 416 million years ago. Many specimens are known. And with that, thank you for watching this short program episode of Prehistoric Beasts under Jawless Fishes. Incoming videos include more jawless fishes, baryonics, environmental science, sarcosuchus. I have a lot of videos planned for this year and I'm extremely excited to make these ideas a reality. If anyone knows about anyone that knows how to make 3D models of creatures, I would appreciate it if you could put me in contact with that person, because I'm thinking of making 3D models for the Prehistoric Beast episodes. As always, this is Enchiridion, see you next time.